Hey there guys, welcome back to the Sims 4 get together. So in the last part, um, yeah, Katrina gave birth to her baby, Autumn. Um, so now it's been six years. And so <laughs> there's been a lot that's happened in the last five to six years of these, of of their lives, um, so I mean, you know, Julian's kind of back in Brooklyn's life, and, um, Summer's actually now with somebody, his name is Tristan Ride, Radar, Ride, Radar? Don't know, I don't remember his last name, but it's like Tristan, and, um, and not only that, but Tristan was freaking loaded, and we bought a beautiful house, but as you guys can see though, um, <laughs> This isn't going so well for Mr. Um, for Mr. Julian over here. Actually, Brooklyn, actually, he tried asking her out, you know, trying, you know, trying to tell her that he's changed and that he's different and, you know, and that everything is, you know, different now. And Brooklyn isn't exactly buying into it. So, um,. Yeah, that's kind of how it's going right now, is that, um, Brooklyn is still thinking about Brandon. She misses him, and she loved him, and Brandon, I don't know, Julian just, <sighs> he doesn't seem to be something for Brooklyn anymore. I need to get him a mirror, because I know he's going to probably die of embarrassment. Um, because he lost his job, he got kicked out, and he turned to Brooklyn for this. And now they've been living together for maybe the last three or four months, and he realizes how much he actually missed her. And so he tried, you know, so they've been getting back together, they've been going out, they've been doing this, they've been doing that, they've been doing some weird things that you guys probably will be like, No, why Brooklyn, why? But ultimately though, um, Brooklyn and Tristan are, I mean, Brooklyn and Julian aren't exactly working out. Um, as you can see here, Brooklyn absolutely rejected him. So, we need to kind of take care of this before he dies on me. Wait, who's going to die on me? Someone's going to die on me and I just know it. And... Unless he's angry, I think he's angry instead. Oh, okay. Well, okay. So she got the awkward encounter. Um, and then I guess Julian had some child somewhere. But, um, <laughs> that's kind of enough for Brooklyn, though. Brooklyn's just going to go upstairs, and she's just going to go hide in the closet for now. Um, because clearly that didn't go to Julian's plans, and Brooklyn doesn't want any part of that. So she's just going to go ahead and go ahead and cry in the closet, because like I said before there, guys, she misses Brandon. She, you know, Brandon was kind of her, like, little world. You know what I mean? And, yeah, I mean, honestly, that was their, you know, their entire relationship was to be together, and here they are broken up and not even close to being together now. So Summer's going to go ahead, so not Summer, Brooklyn's going to go ahead and she's just going to go hide upstairs for a little bit. So like I said, she misses Brandon and I mean, you know, she doesn't know what else to do and I think tonight she might go out with her girls just to kind of get herself some reassurance, I guess. Oh my god, why did my game, my game like crashed? There we go. Oh my god. Look at her, she's so upset. And I fixed her right up. But anyways though, um, yeah, Summer is just really, really heartbroken about the whole situation. And she just, and I mean, even though it's been several years since the birth of Autumn, and since... And since she actually last seen or talked to Brendan, she still misses him, she still loves him. And she's going to go ahead and she's going to go play like a grooving tune, I guess, because she just doesn't know what else to do. She 
you know, like her entire world was flipped upside down by this little tornado called Brent named Brendan, and she doesn't know what else to do. She really doesn't know what else to do with the situation at all. <sighs> but I mean, even though that times have changed, so has Brooklyn. She's a bit more mature now than when she was. She's, a, I guess, she's a bit more. She's not at like her say her sexual peak. I guess. Oh my. You're okay there, Summer. But... <laughs> yeah, no, she's not really rocking it right now. She's really actually really bad. Oh... She's, she's like a level 5 and she still sounds like this. Like, that's a little bit concerning there, Brooklyn. But I think that once Summer gets home, though, I think Brooklyn and Summer are maybe just, yeah, Summer and Brooklyn are just going to go ahead and go hit a bar. Go hit, like, some bar slash nightclub, and, you know, she's going to try to forget her problems. Or maybe Summer might just, maybe just Brooklyn might go out by herself, maybe. I think that's what we're going to do. I think Brooklyn's going to go out by herself, and... <laughs> She, we're just going to try to forget everything that's been happening in her little life. I mean, she's not even making a whole lot of money to begin with. Let's go travel. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go travel by ourselves. Okay. All right there, guys. So we are back. Um, we are now at the... We're kind of at like a, a night... A, blah, 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 an arcade. My game is like really lagging out right now. Just give me a moment here there, guys. Just kind of needs a chance to, like, bounce back. Did Julian, like... I think he, like... No, he didn't. Okay, that looks like Julian. I'm like, why, does, why is there, why is Julian here? I'm really confused. But anyways, though, we're going to go ahead here, though. We're going to, um... Um... I don't know. Yeah, no. I don't know what's up. <sighs> Do we have somebody else in the dancing queen? I thought we did, besides just Katrina. But okay, we're gonna start. We're gonna start the gathering though. And um, <laughs> I really need to make like other girls, but yeah. But anyways, though, we're, she's going to go ahead, and she is actually she's kind of peckish. So I think we're going to try to see if I can find any food. I know last time I, hear, I was here, I couldn't find anything, but maybe this time might be a little bit different. Who knows? I don't know, though. I think for now that we're going to have a dance and wait until the mixologist comes. TBH, just saying. Uh, not even like a barista's over here. So that's what she's going to do. She's just going to go ahead and she's just going to dance. As we wait for somebody, as we wait for like Jenny, I guess. She's mad. She is really mad, but. Yeah, though, I just. I really just don't think, though, that. <laughs> that Brooklyn really has gotten over the heartbreak that happened all those years ago. And we're. You know what? We're just gonna go higher. Oh, the word the F is the mixologist. Okay, what else do we have to do? I, it's been a while since I actually did a club gathering. Um, so we can do like hang out by the fire, we can drink coffee, we can drink bar drinks, and there's no one here at the bar yet. So I think that's what she really needs right now is to just kind of get herself a little bit. It's like a different mindset, pretty much. We're gonna go ahead and do like a friendly introduction though. Um, and I mean, she's totally into it too. Like, she's here and she's ready to talk to us. 
But we're going to do like a heartfelt compliment and we're going to just absolutely just talk with her about everything. Um, <laughs> we're going to uh, get to know her, we're going to like discuss her interests, and I mean honestly, you know, I know Brooklyn hurts on the inside, I know she really does. So I think, you know, it's why she's trying to, I guess, like, branch out, I guess? What's my feeling, too, though, that she will eventually have these behaviors, eventually kind of catch up to her and kind of, you know, get her into, like, a situation that she doesn't want to get herself into, but... Uh, where the hell is this McWallages? I'm kind of... Oh, this is a kitchen. We can make... Do you know what? Screw it. We're grabbing our own food. We're going to go have a quick meal and we're just going to have some chips because I'm really lazy and I don't want to cook anything else. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to go grab our own food because she's hungry. And no one's here to freaking make food for her. But yeah, though, I honestly think, though, that Brooklyn is really just kind of on a little downward spiral, I guess. You know, if you guys really want to think about it like that, like, she's, like, she's really just not in, like, a mental mindset. Um, like, I personally think that she think she knows this is what she wants, so that this is kind of like the behavior that she wants to engage herself in, but I also think too that she's kind of, she's, she's really just pushing it, if you guys know what I mean. Like she's really, she hasn't changed, I guess in a way, quote unquote. Um, she's more or less just kind of gotten more immature and more... But trying to try to play off this mature woman and that she's grown up and that she's, you know, I mean, she's even looking for like a job because she's even not interested, she's not even that interested in being a DJ anymore, to be quite frank with you guys. Um, cause I mean, for now, right? She's basically living off Tristan and Summer's money. And I mean, like, she hasn't even. Like, she just struggles. Like, she really has struggled in her entire life trying to get this all going and trying to behave in such a way. And most importantly, just trying to forget. Trying to forget the past. Trying to forget everything that's happened. And I don't think Brooklyn's ready to let go of the past. I honestly don't think she's ready to let go of anything from the past. I honestly think that she is clinging onto it more than anything because, I mean, Summer and Christian are really, really serious, and she and she feels threatened. I guess in a way, she feels like eventually, you know, she's going to be on her own. She's going to have to learn how to really just kind of care for herself, and um. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I think eventually this whole party life is going to be just a thing of the past for her. And just even like the memories of Brendan just rushing back from especially all the club outings. And I think that's what brings her more pain too, is that she's changed. She's different. Like, this entire club here just... Like, really, she just... She hasn't really changed. Like, she... Like, I guess she's changed a whole lot, but she's also, well... She's struggling. I guess is the way... It, it, I guess it's the word I'm trying to find. Is that she's struggling. So I'm gonna have her order a drink, and she's going to order... Um... She's gonna order a drink for herself and um, we're going to I think what what do you have to order, offer for me there lady she's gonna have like um 
Like she wants to like have like an actual drink, drink. Like she doesn't want like some like still like like some sissy drink. She wants something real. So she's going to go get. She's going to get something real, and she's going to drink. And she's. She's just going to go away and just try to forget everything and move on and even if that means drinking is going to help. This went a lot better than what I did last time when I tried, when, when I tried being here. Don't know why it's taking a while, but it's taking a while. Oh, but that's just what I think, though, about um, about Brooklyn's situation, at least, is that she's really just kind of struggling. I mean, <laughs> Jenny's up here just kind of dancing by herself. Am I getting my drink? I don't think so anymore. I don't think she's getting me my drink. So she's just going to go party. So she's going to party. She's going to rile herself up a little bit. Gives her a bit of an energy boost. And we're going to go ahead. And we're going to go up here. And we're just going to meet. And we're just going to um dance with Jenny. Because clearly the bar is not working right now. I always have problems with this bar too. It always seems to be like that. But anyways, though, um, she's going to go upstairs and she's just going to go ahead and dance with Jenny upstairs by, like, by themselves. Um, I think Jenny has like the right idea, pretty much, is to kind of like isolate themselves from the group and try to be different, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. But... <laughs> I'm really liking that right now. I really am. I don't know why I am, but... Good to know. Good to know. So this is going to give you, like, like, points for this. Perform 10 club activities. Perform club activity, yeah, 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 yeah. It's been on... I mean, but yeah, no, I really, I just... I actually just really just kind of think that even though Brooklyn needs knows that she needs to kind of grow up, she really doesn't want to. Like, she really just kind of wants to stay like this young little... Like, like this young little girl forever. And she wants to be, um... So she doesn't really want to exactly grow up in a way. She wants to, you know, be this little play, you know, be like play all the time and be a little dancing queen, you know. But I feel like though she knows better, and um, yeah, I mean, it's starting to even turn eleven, and I really think that summer is just like, well, you know what, there, Jenny, you know, you're young, you're still ready to party, but. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go go to bed and try to forget my entire and try to forget everything, I guess. But yeah. I think we're just gonna go home though and do all that fun stuff. Alright, so we are back home. Um, I mean even though, you know, Brooklyn's not ready to take that relationship up to like the next step. Um I guess it really kind of does help out with the fact that Julian is really trying to show her that he's changed and that sh and that he's willing to help her get over the heartbreak of Brendan. And I think that's really the hardest part of all is that she really... <sighs> And I mean, she really doesn't know what else to do. 
But anyways, though, I think we're going to go let her take go upstairs and just kind of <sighs> let herself go, go go use the washroom and she's like, well, look there, babe, you know, I'm just going to go upstairs and I'm just going to relax in the hot, I'm just going to relax in like the tub and pretty much she just wants to forget everything. Like she doesn't, like she doesn't even want to be here right now and and she feels really overwhelmed by everything that's happened to her in the recent. Oh girl, what are you doing? No, 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 that's not your bed. Why are you still up? Go, this is your bed over here. Go sleep. Tristan, go sleep. But, yeah, I think that's what Summer's going to go do, though. She's just, she's just going to go take a, take a bubble bath, and she's, I don't know. I really don't know what else to tell you guys, because I've been pretty much repeating the same thing over and over again this part. But that's honestly what she feels right now. She feels like this is kind of something that she really just can't let go of. I mean, even now, Julian, you know, he, you know, when he moved in, he was pretty much homeless, and he still has no idea what he's doing with his life, and, I mean, I guess in a way, you can kind of call him like an off, like, like a deadbeat, pretty much, but he really doesn't want to admit that. The fact that he's living off Tristan's fortune, and doesn't really care much, but... You know, just trying to forget it all is hard for her. Because they did share a really, really special relationship, and I feel like you guys, and, and I feel like that she was absolutely in love with Brendan, and that she cared for him with, with every fiber of her being. But. And now with that child, now. She really needs to learn how to let go. Um, but I really feel like though we're actually already kind of verging on like 27 minutes here. But so I think I'm just gonna end the episode off here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys really have any idea about how I can advance the story, just leave it in the comments below. And yeah, anyways, I will see you guys all in well, just kinda let me no, but you can pause. But anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this, don't forget to subscribe and comment. It gives me an idea about how you guys feel about the series, as well as subscribe. So I will see you all in the next part. Subscribe to Summer Heike, and I am out of here. Bye there, guys. And that uh, everything is going to eventually fall apart for her. So, I mean... You know, she's she doesn't feel ready for this child, and she's kind of stressing out about it, and she 